Hello guys and welcome to another video. Some customers requested us to add two options to automatically populate and customize terms without the need to do that manually each time an attribute, a color, a tag is added in WooCommerce. In today's video, I will show you how to use the new automation option included in our Yeast WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's go! Here we are inside the sandbox I use for the Ajax product filter videos. As you can see here on the left, we already have some filters I added. Now, let's go over to dashboard because I want to add a filter by category. For that, we go to Heath and click on Ajax product filter. Now from here, I will open pre this preset. Okay, and I go to add filter. I will give it a name, filter by category. Now in filter 4, we want to leave taxonomy. And below product categories. Now I will select the categories I want to show. I will just select a couple of them, in this case, okay, lingerie, I can add jewelry, also this one, okay, one last one, perfect. Now in filter type, I will select this last option, label email. Now we scroll down and we find this, terms options. As you can see, for each category, we will be able to set a label, tooltip, and an image. For the moment, I will leave it like it is, and I will show it to you from the front end. For now, I save the filter, and I will just move this over to the top and save preset. Okay, now let's go back to the front end. Okay, this is what the filter by category looks like so far. Right now, it is only showing text, as you can see here. Now, I will show you the great option we added since many of you requested this feature. Okay, here we're back inside the filter by category settings. Like I mentioned before, from this panel, you will be able to add an image for each category. However, a client requested an option to avoid having to manually customize each category you know, adding a label, a tooltip, an image. So let me show you something. There is an option to add an image within the product category. And this is something you can do with WooCommerce. Let's go. We can go to products and categories. Now from here, as you can see, I have already assigned some of the categories an image. And again, this is something WooCommerce allows. If we would add a new category right now, I would give it a name and from here, I will be able to add an image. So I will show you the option in our plugin that is precisely related with this. Once again, as you can see, I have already some of the categories with an image. Now we can go back to GIF and Ajax product filter. Okay, from here, I will open the preset and I will open filter by category. Now what I want to do is that I want to disable this option here, customize terms. Now once I do, you can see the panel to customize the terms disappears. Now the plugin will search if the categories have an assigned image and it will automatically show the label and the images. Let me save filter and save preset. So we can go now to the front end and I'll show you. As you can see, Ajax product filter has recovered the images I inserted in the product categories. Do you recall in the category section, I had previously added an image to each category? Well, here they are. After I disable the option inside the filter, the plugin automatically associates each category with its image. This is very useful because let's say, for example, I have 100 categories. Obviously, I would not add manually all the images one by one in the filters option. With this alternative, in just one click, I am able to import all the images to the filter. 
Now, if you also have our Yeath Color and Label plugin, this option becomes even more interesting because it allows all the labels and images to be used for the filtering options. I will show you with an example to make it easier. Okay, we're back inside the preset and I will show you an example using a filter by color. I open it and first, as we can see here, I have already inserted some colors. I have a green, brown, blue, red. And if I scroll down, same as before, here we will have the panel to customize each term. So if I disable the customized terms options like we did before, the colors I have inserted in the attributes using the color and label plugin will appear. But before I disable this, I want to show you what is happening from the product's attributes. So let's go ahead and go to product and click on attributes. Here in the color attribute, after you install the plugin color and label, a color picker will appear for each of the terms. Let me show you. If we go to edit this color, as you can see from here, you will be able to select the exact color that you want. Once you do, which is the update. Okay, I'll go back. What this means is that everyone that has previously configured the color attributes and also wants to add a filter by color will be able to do the same with just did for the filter by category. Thanks to both our plugins, Color and Label and Ajax product filter. Okay, we're back inside the filter by color and this time I will proceed and disable customized terms. Now save filter. I will just move the filter over to the top and save preset. Okay, so let's go now to see it from the demo. Here we are. Now the filter by color is showing the options I had inserted using color and label. Now, one last thing. It is true that we are able to use this attribute in this way because when we configure the color attribute using color and label, we have the option to select how to show the values for the attribute. In this case, I had color picker. And this is an option you will have right here, where you can select between color picker, image, and label. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.